Hey everyone, in this Lawn Mowing Simulator gameplay with commentary and reactions video, I'm going to look at the first 20 minutes of the game. I've seen this before, I might have played it years ago for a little bit, but I failed to see what the addiction to lawn mowing would be. But let's give it a go and see what we think. So we'll do this. What's this? I don't want that. Oh, no, I don't want that. Go away. Go away. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Career mode. In career mode, you run a new lawn mowing company, completing contracts to earn money and RP as your company grows. You can expand by purchasing new vehicles, hiring employees, and unlocking location contracts. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to create a new career. What I like to know, I need tutorials, man. Let's get started. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs to set up with a name, a logo, and uniform. Oh, man. <sighs> company name, G M. Can I do that? That'll do. Company logo. Um, that is just the best man I'm not bothered about my stuff there I will just confirm play appearance do I have to he looks brilliant I'm, I'm happy that hat is fearsome no nope. no nope. beautiful I'm pleased it's cool stop it then let me play Oops. Come on. Yes, I'm very happy. Test drive. Now you have a company of your own, you will need your first the vehicle to get cut in. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a test drive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The glass clippings are sucked up into the vehicle's hopper. No piles of glass clip grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Well, that sounds good to me, my man. What else we got? A side discharge, mulcher type deck. Uh, I'm on. I'm gonna go with the Steger Estate 2084H. It's got a deck size of 84 centimeters and a fuel tank capacity of six liters. Top speed, 5.5 miles per hour. This is a beast. Nearly 10 horsepower. Wow. All right. Can I just buy it, or do I have to test drive? I've got to test drive it. Am I sure I want to test drive it? I'm sure, man. Why is there a dinosaur there? What's that about? Welcome to the test drive area here. You can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in condition similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get on it. Use left to move R to look around. Yeah. Okay. Get on the vehicle. Once you're on the vehicle, you need to get it started onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. Follow the steps to get it started at the bottom of the screen. Hold to start the vehicle's engine. Yeah, I can feel that 10 horsepower throbbing through my control pad here. <laughs> uh, increase the throttle. Right, accelerate, baby. With the vehicle started, take a moment to get used to it and then drive over to the grass and you can start cutting. Okay, how do cut height? Where's the cut height? Ah, uh, okay, what do we want? I reckon a nice four centimeters. Engage the cutting blades. Are we ready? Here we go. Brr what? Once on the grass, you need a blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. I am cutting, man. Yeah. I feel the power. I feel like this could get boring mighty quickly. It's probably a bad idea to mow in a circle, is it? Rum. I'm overloading the engine. What was this saying? Increase the cut height. Five. What's the cut height? How would I know what cut height I need? Is that a good cut height? I don't know. What is a good cut height? I'm not a lawn mowing expert, despite having started a lawn mowing company. I appear to be breaking the lawnmower. Overloading. Slow down. Okay. I feel like they're getting good value for money here and you know it's interesting that you can sort of test drive like this do I have to lawn mower all of this or can I just stop ok 
guess I've got to do it all. Well, you know, it's like about as interesting as watching paint dry. By holding R3 while stationary, you can engage Pro View, which highlights the areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. Very useful when you're trying to find the last bits. All right, let's go to Pro View. Uh, it's not working. Hello? Brilliant. Is that Pro View? Uh, that just seems to be rubbish view to me. I don't care if I'm knackering the grass. I'm bored. Ah, is this pro view? I'm just changing camera angle there. That certainly seems a little easier to see what's going on. But I am I'm kind of bored. <laughs> um Hello? Can I stop this? I want uh, continue the current contract, return to the main menu. Doing so, you will lose all progress on the contract. Ah, there we go. Cut height range, five to six centimeters. <sighs> okay. What am I cutting at? Six, that's good. Is there no way to speed this up? I'm only 8% done. It's a very tame way to start a game. And I feel like we're not really going to get anything from cutting this because it was a test, wasn't it? I get the idea. Quit me out of here. Give me something. Right. I want to buy that. Yes, I want to buy that beauty there. Beautiful. Uh-oh. I'll buy that as well. Yeah. Front garden, value £295. Okay. Let's do it. Contract set up. Once blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I want to set it up. 99% cut, five to six centimeters. Okay. Assign an employee, me. Chief. Vehicle. Yeah. Equipment. Well, obviously. Let's go. Start it. Start, man. Nice garden, nice house. These dudes are loading. No wonder they pay me 300 quid to cut the, the grass. If I could earn 300 quid for cutting a lawn, I'd, I'd be doing this every day. That would be nice. Let's do it. Ground check phase. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass that could either be damaged, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go and have a look. Oh, look at that. This dude is minted. Nice motor, dude. I could sprint to the garden. Nice garden. What was that? I was hoping we'd find something exciting like a hedgehog. So, a oh, lot. There's some in there. Look at that. The excitement of exploring. What else could damage my lawnmower? What a nice garden. There's one. Where's the last? The last, oh, 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 look right there. Beautiful. Return to the trailer, unload the vehicle or equipment to start cutting. Let's get this bad boy on the road. Get in. Right, start the engine. Brum. Where's my cut height? Cut height nine centimeters? No. What was what what did they want? Five to six centimeters. If I do it at six, then they're gonna call me quicker to um you know come and cut the grass again. Let's try not to smash their gate. Okay. En engage the cutting blades. Brum. See, this is the difficult bit for me, is not taking out their flowers. Whoa, there's a bush. Now, is the bush above my head? I'm not convinced. 
this does seem a bit extreme to have this massive cutting machine for this garden. I feel like this would be a bit, I don't know, too dangerous for all these lovely plants at the edge. Maybe I should be streaming around there. Uh, I do feel underprepared that I have not done any sort of gardening training. I'm just being let loose in this beautiful mature garden with a gigantic mower uh, and potentially I could wreck everything. And I have no idea what would happen if we did wreck the entire garden. Or even if we get oh sorry. And whether it matters if I do funny little stripes, does that matter or does that not? I don't know. Should we go back down here? Is this a more interesting angle for gaming? Possibly. And is it naughty if I think about drawing silly shapes in the grass as we go? But I'm not sure quite how I would do that anyway. But I would love to know your thoughts on would you play this game? Do you play this game? Do you like this game? And if so, why? <laughs> I'm sort of mixed. I can see it's quite, kind of, quite relaxing, I suppose. I find it amazing some companies thought that this would be an amazing game to do and sat there and made it very uh, detailed and impressive. Uh, you know, I've never really dreamt of being a lawnmower expert, but maybe maybe I'm in the sort of minority. I don't know. I'm still playing. It's just impressive after 12 minutes, I think. Well, now that's quite a nice view, isn't it? Whoa, I'm getting a bit motion sick with that. Which is your favourite view? Is it that one? I feel like we're going around in circles with this video. <laughs> Sorry. Right, here we go. We've got 27% done. Um, I'm trying to think how I can make this more interesting as we go. I don't think we can. I think it is just hard work mowing a lawn. There's a lot of clipping going on in the game, but it does look pretty. You know, it is, aside from the annoying noise of the lawnmower, and if there's anything where I think, you know, like uh, electric would be good, it's an electric lawnmower, just so it's not quite so annoyingly noisy. There's probably people going, no man, give me the petrol, give me the diesel, or whatever you put in a lawnmower. I don't know. I'm just making a mess. It's not nice lines I'm doing. I'm hoping that doesn't matter. And the bin is not quite full. Do you think it's looking better? I think it actually looks nicer with the longer grass. <laughs> not sure. Um, if you are watching this, I'd love to know some gardeny thoughts from you. Have you got a garden so big you need to write it on lawn mower? Or have you not? And do you play simulators? I had a little look at Power Wash Simulator the other day. That was strange. Uh, had some comments that yes, it's quite normal to wash power wash a car in a garage. I was like, okay, I would not do that myself because I see the amount of water that comes off of my pressure washer. But each to their own. <clears throat> in terms of uh, lawn mower, I wouldn't lawn mower a garage either quite frankly <laughs> but uh, yeah this, uh, I'm, I'm not doing a good job here am I this is a mess there's probably some lawn mowing expert techniques that I need to learn to do this correctly you know I mean that's probably not good lawn mowing sort of uh, direction there is it just to go wiggly wobbly everywhere and yeah, there are stripes everywhere. Uh, I haven't taken out the flower beds yet, which is good, I suppose. But this seems to be quite a long-winded game <laughs> in that we just sit here and mow the lawn. Do you think it's relaxing? Maybe that view is quite relaxing, just sort of. But it would be if there wasn't the noise of the lawnmower. And I can't quite see, oh, okay. I can move my camera a little bit. Maybe that's a bit better. Maybe that view? What do you think? Is that a better view? 
But look how the flowers clip in and out from the distance. That's not so good, is it? That's uh, not so realistic, which is a shame. And where I've cut looks a flaming mess, which I'm not sure whether that's just that the game can't handle enough grass, or is it my lawn mowing is dodgy as heck? Could be either, to be honest. What do you reckon? I don't know. Thankfully, we are pushing towards 20 minutes with this because I'm not sure how entertaining this one is. But the point with this series is to try and play 365 games in 2024 uh, and ramble on, on each one for about 20 minutes. Just show you the start of each game and hopefully find you a few new games to discover. This particular one is on PS Plus. So if you've got PlayStation and you've got PS Plus, you should be able to play it as at the time of making this video at least anyway um, so let me know if you're going to be checking that out or not what are we at we at 65 percent of the grass cut which is getting there but uh, we're still a bit of a way off so I don't know I, I don't know if there's a way of doing it quicker probably not I guess the, the point of the game is you just chill, you know, and relax and try to sort this garden out. Like this. And go this way. See this this bit here kind of scares me. How are we gonna mow this without trashing our sort of what you call it, uh lawnmower? You'd think I'd know that, given that it's called Lawnmower Simulator. <laughs> oh man. If you have managed to stick with this video of me literally mowing lawn <laughs> for nearly 20 minutes, I applaud you. I'm expecting not many people will, because it is kind of like watching a dude mow a lawn. But if you do, great. If you don't, fine. I don't mind. A little comment would be good though if you say, Law Mode Simulator is not for me, or Law Mode Simulator is for you. I don't know. It might be. Would I play it again? I'm really not sure. I'm not in a state of grippedness, I must admit, mowing the lawn. Maybe if I was having a very stressful day. But I've never thought I'm really stressed. I fancy mowing the lawn. You know, I tend to think the lawn's looking really long, man. I've got to get the lawn mower out and you know it's cheaper than getting a gardener in to do it for me but you can see why gardeners charge so much because this is not a fun job really is it or maybe it is maybe when you're actually doing it you know in this view maybe that's more exciting i don't know not sure i do think that the grass actually looks worse than when i started which is probably not a good advert for my brand new gm gardening business I've just realised GM's probably not the best business name for a gardening company because that means genetically modified, doesn't it? Uh, so <laughs> I didn't think very much about, very very hard about that business name as I came up with it. And that's probably, again, sort of not a good way to launch a gardening business as is never having gardened in my life and then deciding to buy a lawnmower and then I don't know what's more mad, me doing that or Sam Loon saying, yes, you can come and cut my grass um, and I will pay you 300 quid to mow the lawn for half an hour. I mean, that's like £600 an hour money. That is good money, my friends. If you can get that, I say, get that lawn mower and mow away. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was hoping I would have this garden done, but we are, we are getting close, but I don't see me completing it in 20 minutes I think that is pushing it a little too much um, but you get the idea with it I think so I assume we just go on with a bigger and more beautiful gardens over time I suppose we use different tools but we obviously can't see that I was wondering how much I've got left of the garden to cut but you can see we're at 83 percent but we are at the 20 minute mark now which is where I try and end these at unless there's some dire good or damn good reason to continue and I don't think completing this cut is it so what I'd like to know from you my friends is what you think of the game uh, is it good is it bad do you play it do you not would you play it would you not 
Uh, if you want to see more of this series where I cover more exciting games than just the Lawnmower Simulator, have a little look. I try and cover a big variety of games. And like I say, this year I'm trying to cover 365 games in a year, which is a tall order. But if this is picked up, I will crack on and do it. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to park up here and uh, just to kind of turn it off. Hey, I don't know. Shh. Not quite. There we go. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see more games, have a little look at the playlist that I put at the end of here. Cheers.